Desert Dust Pet. And let's just repeat. I need to drop you down a little bit here. Let me, let me buckle you in here. Slightly up and left a little bit. Not too much, that's better. Bring this forward again. Let me have you look down. And then back. All right, so this is Dr. Johnson here. Uh, after the treatment, I'm adding this in. If you're a little disoriented uh, or a little discombobulated in trying to figure out what it is that's going on here, uh, what you're looking at is an actual treatment. Uh, my view through what would be my left eye um, connected to a camera. Uh, the graphic I've thrown up there in the upper left is a kind of cartoonish cross-sectional view of what's actually going on here. So to the very left, that silvery looking thing uh, with the little blue part um, at, at, uh, up against the eye is my handheld lens. Uh, that prevents any blinking and kind of stabilizes the eye. And uh, it's floating on a little a little gel that uh, so the patient doesn't feel it. The, the eye is also anesthetized, so it doesn't feel any of that. Uh, next are the optics of the eye, the cornea and the lens. This sort of yellowish uh, converging cone shaped uh, uh, yeah. would be representative of the laser energy. And unlike a typical laser, uh, it does have this cone shaped energy. So the energy is only being delivered in one point in space. So what you can kind of tell at times um, in the video here, there are a couple of red beams and I've kind of shown that in the graphic as well. These red beams are my aiming Aiming beams, aiming lights. There's, there, there they are there. Is, you know, um, and that's how I can, can confirm uh, precisely where um, the energy is being delivered. So there are these whitish, creamy structures right there. And I line my images up and my focusing beams and fire the laser. And what you'll see is a showering of, um, of uh, gas bubbles that are formed. So I'm actually taking this energy and taking these proteins and vaporizing them into gases. These gas bubbles will rise. The patient actually sees what appears to be black things falling. That's actually gas bubbles rising. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they will um, they will uh, just dissolve into the fluid and sort of disappear. So it's kind of a geeky, sciencey way of getting these proteins out of the eye by converting them to gas bubbles first. The, the gas bubbles will then dissolve and just be reabsorbed and be gone. Uh, this is a very ideal type of floater to treat. And um, um, yeah, so I think it's a good illustrative uh, example. So there you are. I'll return you back to some of the treatment and we'll wind this thing up. Do that again to your far left, and then back straight ahead again. Yeah, some of that membrane is pretty pretty hazy. Where it's kind of folded over on itself and hazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see why that would be fairly disruptive. 